Hey songsters, Merry Christmas, and I'm so excited to share with you my um, new song. I don't even know, I just wrote it moments ago, so I don't even know what it's called yet. Um, Grace Upon Grace. No, I lied. It's called Evergreen Grace. Anyway, it's sort of a mashup of um, one of my original pieces with um, I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day, which is um, one of my favorite Christmas songs. Today I used a prompt from uh, my big box of prompts, um, Lifting the Darkness, and I thought that was really fitting. Um, last week I shared that I have been struggling a little bit with some depression, and I know the holidays are a difficult season for a lot of people, so I hope this song encourages you and um, maybe helps lift you out of some darkness that you may be experiencing. So. Without further ado, here are some clips from my writing today. Okay, it's been a while since I've done a song vlog and I'm really, really excited to get back into it. Um, I think it's just been a really rough fall and I've been busy with Shepard who is now um, 19 months and he's everywhere. He's crawling on everything, climbing on everything and getting into trouble. <laughs> um, you know, the, the normal sort of trouble, but he um, he's keeping me really busy and it's also just been kind of a difficult season because um, I've been wrestling a little bit with seasonal depression and um, you know so I'm, I'm kind of starting to take care of some things but um, anyway I'm excited to get back into songwriting and bringing you guys another song and another song blog and uh, I had this really great idea. So yesterday Shepard dumped out all of my song prompts and so when I was putting them back I found this prompt that um, just really I, I just felt like I've got to write that one. I've got to work on that one and so um, here we are. Um, so we're wanting to write a Christmas song. Um, we've had our first snowfall in Grand Rapids and everything is white and beautiful and um, thinking about just kind of struggling with um, depression and, and uh, I explained in my video last week that it kind of feels like, um, sometimes it can kind of feel like I'm drowning at where I'm about to go under water. Um, like I'm not quite treading water and I'm about to go under. And, um, you know, sometimes it just feels like I'm in this, you know, like it, everything feels clouded, like I'm in this darkness. So the prompt that I found is um, lifting the darkness, and I thought that would be perfect. Yesterday I watched um, a vlog, one of my favorite vloggers, Andrew Huang. Um, if you haven't checked out Andrew Huang's mus uh, music and um, his YouTube channel, you should go check it out. It's amazing, super inspirational, fun, creative. Um, he writes music, he um, is an engineer, he's just multi-talented. Anyway, um, he was talking about what makes Christmas music work. And um, specifically, he talked about uh, the chord progression and um, this two, five, one pattern. So I sat down today and I was kind of playing around with some chords and here's what I've got. Like a string of Christmas lights Lifting the darkest night Wrestling my fate with grace Upon grace Upon evergreen grace In John 1.16 it says, And from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. So I was thinking of this idea of grace upon grace being like Christmas lights, like a string of Christmas lights and um, you know how that light of faith in our lives um, is what lifts the darkness, that, that gives us the power to lift the darkness and it gives us the power to um, be a light to other people. Wrestling my faith with grace upon grace upon evergreen grace. You know, I think uh, wrestling is a weird word there. Um, 
wrapping them, wrapping my fate in grace upon grace. I think that's better. It's wrapping my fate with grace upon grace upon There's an idea there that is just, just waiting. that two five one pattern two five one major six two five one minor six two five one grace heavy with familiar fight blanketed in winter's white burying my faith in grace Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are challenging yourself and writing at home, even if it's not um, on a regular basis and it's just once in a while, if you wanna sit down and um, just try experimenting, try some of these song prompts um, that I'm sharing with you or um, go and get the Steel Like an Artist journal that I talked about a couple weeks ago and challenge yourself to uh, follow some of those prompts. I hope um, that these videos I'm sharing with you are encouraging you to write and to share your thoughts and just um, express yourself in a new way. And here we go. Um, I I just forgot to do the big box of prompts last time, so I didn't have a prompt, so I picked one for myself, and now I'm gonna pick another one. <laughs> Succulents. They're uh, the only plant that survives in my house because I don't really have to do anything to keep them alive, except for maybe water them occasionally. There's your prompt for next time. Um, I've mentioned this before, and you've probably noticed if you've been watching, I've been doing fewer song blogs. It's more like maybe once a month, um, and I'm, I'm adding more and more um, songster hacks and tips and tricks for songwriting. If you have any um, requests, if you have any types of videos that you are really enjoying and you'd like to see more, please let me know in the comments below and I would love to talk to you about what kinds of content you want me to be creating. I hope this finds you well. As always, click subscribe and write the song you need to hear this week.